Hello and welcome to freephotoshop.com and this week's tutorial on how to create text with a foreground shadow. I'm going to start straight off by showing you what we're looking to create in this session and you might have seen this effect throughout the web at some stage. It's certainly had its fair share of exposure but it's definitely worth having the ability to create this at your disposal. Okay, I'm going to minimize this image and open up a new document by going up to the file menu and then selecting new. And I'm going to name this document Shadow. Now under the presets drop down menu I'm going to select a preset of 800 by 600 which will set the document up to be used on the web. So we've got a resolution of 72 pixels per inch and down here we can confirm that those pixels are indeed square which is perfect for web design. And I'm also going to make sure that we've got a white background selected and once I'm done I'm going to click OK to load the new document onto the screen. Now I'm going to select my text tool from the tools palette over here on the left hand side. I'm then going to select the font I'd like to use and this can be any font you like depending on of course what fonts you've got on your system. I'm going to select a font called Flyer for my demonstration here. Then I'm going to come over to the text color icon and click it to reveal my color picker and I'm going to select a deep blue color and that looks just about right. I'm going to click OK once I've done there to confirm the changes and finally I'm going to set the text size to 72 points and we're just about ready to go. OK I'm going to click just above the center of the page and add my text and I'm going to type the name of my website freephotoshop.com where you'll find this and many other free tutorials just get the plug in while I can okay so when you're done typing the text we'll need to select the move tool in the tools palette and I'm gonna move the text that I've created into position by holding down the shift key and using the arrows on the keyboard or if you prefer you can just drag the text into position with the move tool in the normal way Okay, we're going to add a layer style, so we need to come over here to the layers palette and on the far right hand side of the layer icon, I'm going to double left click to bring up the layer style dialog box. Now I'm going to go down and select outer glow. I'm going to change the blend mode to normal and then I'm going to click the color swatch here and from inside the color picker, I'm going to select the color I want to use as my shadow, which of course is going to be black. Okay, once I've done that, I'm going to leave the technique set to softer and then change the spread value to 2 and the size value to 5. The values you put in here are going to be determined by the size of your image, so it's definitely worth playing around to see how those settings affect your overall image. Now when you're happy with what you've done here, just click OK to accept the settings. Now you'll notice in the layers palette we have an arrow attached to the right hand side of the layer and if we click that to reveal our layer styles and then right click the outer glow style and select create layer from the menu that appears and what we've done here is created a new layer from the outer glow effect we created a few moments ago. Now I'm going to rename the new layer Shadow and I'm just going to make sure that's selected and then go up to the edit menu and select transform and then select scale and we're now in transform mode and we can identify that from the fact we've now got a bounding box which appears around the contents of our layer so you can see that we've got um, this bounding box now around the text that we created a few moments ago. And I'm going to grab the top middle handle from the bounding box and just drag that down to produce the shadow effect we're after. And I'm going to leave this just a little longer than the text but like I said you can leave it pretty much where you want depending on how big you want your shadow to be. And when I'm done doing that I'm going to hit enter um, 
which will confirm the changes that I've made and then go back up to edit and transform once again and this time I'm going to select perspective and what I'm going to do here is just drag the bottom left handle until I reach a perspective I think is good and again we're just eyeballing this but you can see that that's starting to look more like a realistic shadow now and once again when you've done that just hit the enter key as we did before to confirm the changes now as we're trying to replicate a real shadow then we'll need to make sure that our effect follows the look and feel of a real shadow and what I mean by that is the nearer the shadow is to its source the stronger and sharper it's going to be as it moves away from the source you will start to lose the darkness and sharpness as it naturally starts to fade away so with the shadow layer selected I'm going to go down to the bottom of the layers palette and select this icon here which is the layer mask icon then I'm going to select the gradient tool from over here in the tools palette and just make sure we're using a black to white gradient up here in the gradient panel then with the layer mask selected we're going to add this gradient to improve the look of our shadow and a useful tip here is to make sure the mode up here is set to normal and then each time we use the gradient tool it overrides the previous attempt so we can have as many attempts as we want at getting this shadow correct once we're happy with what we've done with the shadow we can select the background layer and with the gradient tool which is still selected we can add a backdrop just to give the image a little more substance and that looks about perfect well I hope you found this tutorial on freephotoshop.com to be useful thanks very much for watching